An argument over gas money. That's what a woman tells us led to the death of a mother of three who was hit by a car in the front yard of her home while her children were asleep inside. And they were screaming and hollering. It was like they knew they was going to see their mama again. The woman you just heard, Jacqueline Thompson, tells News 4 Jack she too was hit by the car and was injured. Police arrested John Perry and charged him with murder in the death of 34-year-old Shafonda Boynton. Perry has a lengthy record of violent crime. He was scheduled to be in court this afternoon, but waived his appearance. He's being held without bond and will be arraigned next month. Channel 4's Destiny McKeever is joining us live from the home that was the scene of this tragedy, and she spoke with Thompson about her friendship with Boynton. Destiny. And Thompson said she was so close with Boynton that she had to make time to speak with us, even though she had just gotten out of the hospital. Take a look at this scene here. This is the scene that Thompson says will forever replay in her mind. He approached her. He was like, you wrote out my gas. Give me, um, give me, um, some gas money. And she was like, I told you I ain't giving you nothing. They, to make a long story short, they went, they started arguing. An argument stemming from gas money. Jacqueline Thompson says she went out Tuesday night with her longtime friend, Shafonda Boynton. She says they drove this car belonging to 47-year-old John Perry. According to Thompson, the two returned to Boynton's home and were met by Perry early Wednesday morning. At that point, Thompson says Perry was outraged, saying Boynton needed to pay him gas money. She told him she was like, well, I tell you what, so she called, she contacted Jackson the sheriff's office. And when she was giving them the information, he backed out like he was leaving. All I can remember is her calling my name and running, running. She was running, and she was calling my name, running past me. And when I turned around and looked, I was on um, here. Thompson told police Perry hit them because Boynton refused to give him gas money. Thompson says the argument happened as Boynton's 14-year-old and 8-year-old children slept inside of the home. Um, and they were screaming and hollering. It was like they knew they was going to see their mama again. Thompson says the toughest thing of all of this is knowing Boynton's three children are now without parents. Their dad had already passed away. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sad. I'm hurt. I'm sad. And I never thought of me in years. And that would be the last time I see my friend again. And within the last 15 minutes, several people showing up here to place balloons here in front of Boynton's home to show their love for her. Coming up at six, many of you are likely wondering what will happen with her children. The answer all new at six o'clock. Reporting live on the north side, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, The Local Station.